The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the jugs are smashing, and the sounds of innocent people being burned alive is deafening. But before we get to that, we have a monumental task ahead of us. I intend on clearing this entire map with one simple trick. First, I set Jaquan as my new leader, then rip down the Keg Copper Ridge to free up a large slot. This allows me to build the Warlord leader project, the Armory. Using this, I'll be able to craft any ammunition I need and a shit ton of explosives. But I immediately run into a problem. Seeing as we got nearly half an hour to kill, I take over as Loren and instigate part two of my epic plan. All right, boys, how's it going? Recruiting the cannon fodder. Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. I know there's a couple of plague peeps about. It looks like they're not interested in helping. I whip out the machine gun and hit with about 75% accuracy. Looks like I'm improving. But obviously excessive noise causes issues. Okay, so this might have escalated quite quickly. Do I come and help? Like this is your territory, yeah? I forced the shed dwelling introverts into the fight. And it's fair to say I'm getting a keen attachment to one of these bastards. I like that dude. Welcome to the team, James. We need a better relationship. It won't let me. You bastard. Well, you left me with no choice. I retreat to a tactical distance until the timer counts down to zero. But disaster's never too far away. Oh shit, shit, how the fuck have I ended up on fire like this? They must have shot that thing out of the air. My second throwable is much more successful. Those guys are witches. But everybody knows witches are easily dealt with with automatic 9mm rounds. You'd probably class part 2 to this plan as a failure, but don't worry, I've always got a backup. I take over as everybody's favourite red talent officer. Come on, Terence, let's go, bud. Let's try that whole cannon fodder thing again, shall we? <laughs> Although the next community is slightly more further afield. So I make my way to the local group of alcoholics who've taken up base in a nuclear power station. What's up, peeps? Ah, oh, Daquan. It seems Daquan is still in a rough state for my rescue mission in the last episode. Maybe it might not be a good idea to recruit him. How about Robert? I like his mask. Although his skills are less than impressive. Oh, who's this? Laurel. I don't know what it is, but Laurel reminds me of someone else. A previous champion amongst men. That and she's a better fighter than both the blokes. Enlist. Come then, Laurel. Come with me, love. We can take out some infestations, alright? I think we're gonna start up here first. But you should know how this works by now. Disaster's never far away. Oh, shit. Shit, that didn't work out. Um, sorry, Laurel, that probably wasn't the best start to our epic quest. Oh, for Christ's sake, Laurel. You're not gonna last long, are you? We literally haven't taken down anything, and I'm already seriously injured and on the knack of need. All right, we got a feral. Might as well take him down as well. He's too close to base, boys. Well, where are you at, bud? But more mistakes have been made. Oh, I forgot to reload. Oh, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. But it doesn't matter. Shotgun gets the win. We head off once more, but we don't get particularly far. Oh, bollocks. Oh, no. Oh no, poor Laurel. I briefly consider helping her out, but I've got an entire infestation to take out. Burn, bitch! And her job as cannon fodder is to protect my six from being munched on by the undead. Although it appears that people upstairs- Oh my god, this has not gone well! You can say that again. I even somehow managed to mess up another molly throw. Oh my god, how of- Why? 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 Ow, ow. Ah, one of life's great mysteries. If anybody knows the question to why, 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 how, how? Please let me know in the comment section. I can already see this was a terrible idea. Fire is your ally, and there is a big boy coming. I take out the final screamer. There's two zombies left, and I'm pretty certain one of them is going to be that big boy. Come on, love. We're going to have to take him. We're going to have to. He charges me down with the lust of blood behind his eyes. Well, it's a bloody good thing I'm one speedy boy. Together, we'll take out the bastard. I've taken out enough of them. We might be on the on the meter. Shit. Laurel does her job well, which allows me to thin the approaching hordes. Come on, we need to get that reload in. But I still get plenty of opportunities to display my athleticism. Ho, 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 ho. He's, he's stumbling. But that just makes him angrier. Oh, shit. <laughs> so am I. And you won't like him when he's angry. Well, to be more accurate, Laurel won't like him when he's angry. Get off her. Get off her. She's my mate. Yes, guys and girls can be mates too. I'm not a simp just because I'm trying to save the woman's life. Although I did donate an entire paycheck to her only fans. Got him. Yes, champion. <laughs> We've taken out one infestation and one juggernaut. Only a million more to go. I then get to burn an approaching horde and show off my new epic face stomp takedown. I then check to see how Laurel's doing after that fight with the jug. Oh, so she's been in better conditions, shall we say? At this point, the armory is nearly finished, so I decide to head back to base. Seriously, heal this dude up, because he is instrumental to my plan. Welcome to the base, Laurel. Don't get too attached to it. <laughs> you probably won't be alive to see it. I use the infirmary to emergency heal Terence, then the workshop to craft a ton of fuel bombs. And as if the burning air wasn't explosive enough, I pile them all into the boot. That is a lot of fuel bombs. 
<laughs> With this amount of explosive tightly packed into a vehicle, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a call from the IRA. I wonder, can I recruit a member of my community while also having Lorel as my follower? No, you can't. Ah, god damn you. This puts me in a difficult position. Now I'm faced with an ethical decision. I want to be able to recruit one of my community members so I can give him a grenade launcher, as friendly NPCs can use guns without using up any ammunition. But this will put a member of my community in harm's way, and that defeats the whole point of cannon fodder. Sorry, Lorel. You're no longer needed. Jack Juan, welcome to the team. I mean, technically, he was already part of the team. In fact, he is currently the leader of the team, and that might not last for much longer. I give myself the 50 cal, then equip the grenade launcher for Jack Wild. All he's got is a grenade launcher with unlimited ammo. <laughs> he is going to, to be amazing. I then rush to check out my new armory, and my plan is to stick all of my ammo resource into 50 cal rounds. So I can make 60 bullets for 5 ammunition. I have 36 ammunition to use. Let's go to town. You might think this would be a massive waste of resources. And, well, you'd probably be right. I already had 12 in the locker, so in total I got 54 rounds to take out nine play carts and a growing amount of infestations. Let's go for the first play cart, which is up there. Let me know if you think we'll be successful in the comment section. We'll work our way around the map in a anti-clockwise fashion. And if you're wondering why everything is kicking off, while I was crafting bullets until my fingers bled, a horde decided to siege my base. We're off on an epic quest, and I've only been recording for 33 minutes. And as always, my teammate decides he wants to enjoy the fresh air. Yes, obviously, they all jump in the back for some reason. There's a massive horde, but I have faith in the rest of the the team that they'll take on that. Oh, look, a feral. Oh, shit. Not wanting to back down from a fight, I shake him off and use the burning aid as flamethrowers to take him out. Oh, I'm on fire. That's a shame. I head north, do some scouting, then do what I do best when surrounded by a horde. Oh, well, there's only one thing I could do. Just as Jaquan slides down the ladder. Oh, sorry, Jaquan. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> But Jack Quan doesn't seem to be using his secret weapon. Why is he not using the grenade launcher? That's the whole reason he's coming on this quest. At this point, I'm thinking I might have made a terrible judgment call. But there's no more time to ponder. It's time to play a card. Right, well, you go take him out, but I'll take care of the heart, all right? Oh, there we go. I take my first shot with a 50 cal, then dodge a plague zombie. I then fire off the final three rounds of my clip. Okay, I think it's on the but it looks like Jaquan is in trouble. Don't worry, Jaquan, I got you, bro. Oh shit, there's a feral in there. When Jaquan burns alive, I get the final round into my 50 cal and turn my attention back to the player cart. Oh shit. Using my red talon athleticism, I managed to get out of the barn and lob a fuel bomb. Yes, it definitely did hurt it. The fire from the fuel bomb takes out the player cart, which thankfully drops all the plague zombies. Oh, I can't believe I wasted that. That was stupid. But at least we get to see a really pretty explosion. That was really stupid. I've only got 46 bullets left now. Before we move on, I do use another 50 cal round on a feral. What can I say? I didn't have faith in Jaquan. To get that win. So the car might be a little bit knackered from all of my explosions. Oh shit. Luckily, Jack Juan is a beast with a sword, even if he might have slightly skimmed me in the process. <laughs> Now might be a good time actually to use the first aid kit. It might also be a good time to use up this uh, the repair kit. On the first heart we come to as well. God damn, I'm an explosive bastard. We move on to the second. And for some reason, Jaquan is still in the boot. Ah, look. You know what? While we're here, let's just say a quick RIP to our fallen colleague. I say RIP. What I actually mean is loot the corpse off. I will take your ethanol. I then pause to check the map because we definitely lost two survivors in this area. Why is Erica all the way up there? She's obviously gone on a wonder. Oh shit. Jaquan gets ripped out of the back, then set on fire. Honestly, it's a surprise I got friends at Oh, come on, dude. Come on, get up, you knobhead. Seeing as he's a moany little bitch, I swap to him, then quickly heal him. So we make our way to the next heart, and it might not be obvious to some of you, but I've watched the third Fast and the Furious film. But hey, gotta enjoy a bit of drifting, you know what I'm saying? The heart is chilling in a shop, and I take the optimal route. Quite quickly get overwhelmed here. Okay, Jack Juan, this is it, pal. I start with a fuel bomb for passive damage, then unload the clip of my 50 cal. That's when my past decisions catch up with me. Open fire, motherfucker. Oh shit, that's my guy. He's got a grenade launcher. Luckily, the heart is literally one shot. Boom! Admittedly, it's one shot of a 50 cal, but one shot is one shot, you know? Oh, pipe bombs, I'm taking them. I also take the ammo resources some moron gambled all our stock on 50 cal. Wait, what? Another feral has joined the party. And who'd have guessed? One pistol headshot is as effective as a 50 cal. Dead, bitch. So far, so good. We're doing really well. On to the next. Oh, I'm heading in the wrong direction. Gotta know your north, south, east, and west, boys, all right? Very important for surviving the zombie apocalypse. Remember, never eat shredded wheat. That has nothing to do with the acronym. It's just because it's rank. Also, fuck Nestle. I epic drift into the car park and notice the player cart's taken refuge in an ammo shop. Given our over-fondness of bullets and it's the one outpost we haven't claimed yet, this will be imperative. For this attempt, I show off my stealth skills, but that doesn't last long when I whip out the 50 cal. Okay, I think it's on the road. 
I'm gonna go with that fuel bomb, but there's a lot of zombies spawned in our location. Jack Quad, take him out, but thankfully one more 50 cal takes out the heart. Got up, absolutely annihilated, but absolutely fucked up. A bloke spawns, and I've recently completed Heartland. So I headshot him and attempt to creep up on him and steal his organs. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do that, can't do that. I claim the gun shop as an outpost, then use it to drop off all the needless shit I've acquired. There's an infestation and a player cart right next to each other. Fuck knows what's gonna be the easiest to do, but we're gonna find out together. You know, I think we're gonna be all right. You know what? I think we're gonna be all right too. Oh, how wrong could I have been? I arrive at the heart, and it appears a super horde has spawned nearby. Jack Juan, you take on that bet, all right? I'm going into the dark heart. Am I the hero this town deserves? Or a coward that wants to stay the fuck away from all those zombies? I'll let you lot decide in the comment section. Yes, it did definitely hurt it. I managed to get a couple of shots off before I get surrounded by zombies. It's so dark in here, I'm so sorry you can't see anything. It's actually so dark I get lost, but button bashing gets that win. Okay, apparently we got that win, I don't know how. It's so dark in here. Jack Juan, you okay? I take out a bloater. Fucking hell, but get surprised. Oh shit, I'm infected. How long has that been there? Who'd have guessed an over-aggressive playstyle could lead to these sort of issues? What about Jack Juan? He's fine, he's only 98%. So I craft a couple of play cures and retreat back to the gun shop. Can't believe all this preparation. I didn't even think about play cure. Make sure to like and subscribe for more epic planning and to see me stumble my way through the apocalypse. I also give Jack Juan a cure to stop him from bloody moaning. All right so far. I mean, admittedly, I would prefer that he was light and shiny and looked pretty on a YouTube video, but you know, it is what it is. I crash my way back to plague territory, but get surprised. Oh shit, there's hostile people right next door. This could be used to our advantage. So I quickly come up with a plan in my head. Drone strike, bitch. I pop the smoke grenade, then take cover behind a car. Wow. Oh shit. Oh, there's also a feral coming. Why is he coming for me for? That's a bit unfair. Right, anyway, I kick in the door and repeat my winning strategy. Oh shit! That guy took a bullet! I retreat to give myself time to reload, but then notice Jack Juan is in need of my assistance. But I know the heart's gotta be close, so I charge back into the belly of the beast. It takes three shots, but I get that win. Got it. It is down for the camp. Bitch got served. With that done, I take out the last hostile with a frag I found in the play car. <laughs> I think we go take out these player cards and then we get these infestations on the way past. Take that one out last. Sounds like a plan. It's my plan. We're sticking to it. Shut up. At the next heart, I decide to stay with a stealth strike. But accidentally become a trick shot. Oh, I'm full of trick shots recently, boys. Absolutely fucking full of them. The heart goes down easy as you like with one frag and three 50 cal rounds. Absolutely decimated. That was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Fast forward to the next heart and this one's in a warehouse. But admittedly, I need to find a way in because there is a nasty horde there. But I have faith in Jack Juan. At the end of the day, does have a grenade launcher. Jack Juan's got this. I'll leave him outside. When it's not broke, don't fix it, so stick to the same strategy. Burn, bitch. And that gets us another win. Got them. How you doing, Jack Juan? 56% infection. Yeah, he's sound. Two play carts left, and then a couple of infestations. We're sound, but I'm telling you. I maintain my record breaking strap, but who'd have guessed there would be a downside? Shit. 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 The heart goes down. Let's go to the infestation. There's also a jug there. But on the way, we get into a little fender bender. Don't blame me. I blame the developers for putting those cars in that order. Oh, shit. And a tree. Never take responsibility. More life advice. I'm full of good ideas today. I arrive at the first infestation and I'm determined not to use my 50 cal. Kinda need it for the last play card. A screamer jumps through the window, but I'm able to headshot it after lobbing a fuel bomb into the house. Burn, bitch. And what's even more impressive is all this chaos doesn't attract a juggernaut that's literally just across the street. Well, there's only three left. What an absolute beast. We're gonna leave that juggernaut there. Why risk it for a biscuit when it's only a simple digestive? I'm full of great metaphors. And if you don't get that metaphor, that's not my problem. I clear the next mainly thanks to my fuel bomb. Shit, shit, shit. He's on fire. I, now I'm on fire. But at the end of the day, a win's a win. Oh shit, I appear to be on fire again. <laughs> You'd think that would make me stop using the excessive amount of flamethrowers. But if anything, I'd need the fun. Delph is well and truly out of the window, because I walked into the window. Two more screamers have made their presence known, so I just drop a box mine and skedaddle. Five zombies remain. Four zombies remain. Five zombies remain. Four zombies remain. Three, two, one zombie remains. I then spend what feels like an age just trying to find the last bloody zombie. I mean, it wouldn't be that one all the way over there, would it? It wasn't, but come on, that was impressive, that shot. Come on, give me some credit. No drama, I eventually find the sneaky bastard. Finally, onto the final player card. Fucking got this, I'm telling you. The car's smoking, I'm halfway to infected. Oh, I almost left my leader behind. I'm knackered. But my health is looking pretty decent, to be fair. Could this be where it all goes wrong? One infestation and one player card stand between me and a cleared map. I've only got 550 cal ammo left, so let's work our hardest and see what kind of magic we can produce. I lob a fuel bomb, then drop back, because the heart's in a dodgy position, and I've been on fire enough times in 
this video. He starts fighting as I get two shots off in quick succession. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I managed to dodge my way through the horde, but things aren't looking good. Sometimes it's best to take a tactical retreat, you know what I'm saying? The infestation from across the road has also started to spill into the street. Oh, shit, I'm infected. This is bad news as I'm miles away from safety. And there's dozens of infected surrounding my location. But if I can take down the heart, the plague zombies will drop. And that should allow me some time to get in the car and fucking leg it. So for one last ride, with three bullets remaining, I head back into the lion's den. Champion! But I do get trapped in its cloud. Oh no, 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 get out of there. And just when you think things couldn't get any worse. <gasps> a feral has decided to spawn and attack me while it's darker than an edgy teenager's sense of humor. Yep, I took down a feral. You didn't see any of it. I do apologize about that. But that's as bad as things are gonna get. We can't possibly be in a worse position than we currently are. Wait, is this destroyed? Now we're in trouble. Now we're in some serious trouble. I need a repair kit. Luckily, there's a car garage just the other side of this bridge. I have 23 minutes, 200 meters. Come on, dude, you got this. You can survive. You're a survivor. You've got two bullets. There you go, you got 20. Thankfully, I was able to get a secondary rifle from the player car. You're a beast. A myth amongst men. Who would have thought they'd be downsized to be in such an explosive style player? I spot quite a large gathering on the side of the road, so I spam the shit out of my fuel bomb. Just want to make sure they don't follow me, you know what I mean? This almost certainly has the opposite effect. They're definitely following me. It's going to be a repair kit here. Failing that, there's a car. That'll get me home. I've got to fight off a couple of zombies in the garage, but I do find a repair kit and a can of fuel. I need to take the burninator back. It's got all of my good stuff in. Although this has its own challenges. As some a moron decided to spam fire bottles and disturb a peaceful horde. You'll be glad to know he's learned his lesson. Oh, Jack one. Oh, shit, he's on fire again. Can someone in the comment section please let me know how many times I've set myself or Jack Quan on fire in this video? That horde just will not leave. Go away. Shit, shit, shit. 19 minutes remaining. Thankfully, I make it back to the burninator and whack my wrench out, which, believe it or not, isn't actually a euphemism. This allows us to drive safely back to base and certainly don't risk it all for a small horde. Ah, uh, I just... Too good. Oh, shit. Well, it's fair to say I pretty much wasted my repair kit. <laughs> oh, shit. But I'm able to park up, transfer all my shit to storage, and finally I cure Terry's infection. What a successful mission. And that simple trick, you might think, was the 50 cal. You might think it was sticking an unlimited supply of grenade launcher ammo onto my colleague. You might even think it was the cannon fodder we had right at the beginning. But no, the real trick was the friends we made along the way.